Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from... Oh, uh, there we go, testing. I think everything is good. Except for this freaking runner man. This run is bad and sad. Can't wait to get to wave 3. Piece of trust. I am become back my money. This was a good run too. Like look at we got the sausage, we got some Jesus juice. Playing as tainted Isaac. Pretty good character, I think. Definitely captures what I would hope for. From the oh, uh. bro! I was so ready to get that piggy bank. Are you freaking? I like just like didn't pay attention. Anyways, pretty good character. Captures the uh, you know changes the way you play the game, but is also pretty balanced. The benefit kind of equalizes in certain ways the offset of having to have a limited inventory but you also get to roll your items as long as you don't just grab the wrong one for no reason Up. It's, I know it's a lot of damage, 3.5. That, that, uh, I literally, like this spider is the worst thing that has ever been created. I was about to pull myself up. Uh, I got it. I have to remind myself that the mas mascara is like pretty strong by itself because it's so. It has negative gamer juice flow, if you know what I'm saying. Like just using it is painful. Hello. Oh, what do we got here? Garbage, garbage. Sack boy. First item of the St. Isaac run. Mascara. Objectively strong. And as I was saying, my gamer bones just hurt using it, dude. Like the delay in your tears. Wouldn't mind getting that sack boy hat, but I need money from this fight or bomb. I'm in AOE now. Uh, 
you can download AOE4. It's a uh, 40. It's like an 80 gigabyte download, so you better start now. Ah. No two. I know what two is. Uh, not now. Not now. I think I gotta get the tears up. Is it free? It's one dollar. You you can quote unquote rent it for a dollar. This is also that chest is like super clutch. Let's make it my sack boy now. Which might be a temporary thing I use. Is A we for a dollar? Uh the, you rent it for a dollar. Would you actually play? Uh, well, I plan playing it after this Isaac run. Oh yeah, let me throw up the schedule. Isaac run, AOE 4. Maybe, I, I'm like forgetting that not everyone saw the start of the stream. This is what I'm like. Well, I'm like, uh, duh, we're playing. Yeah, no, I got the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, hashtag Microsoft. Uh, brought to you by Bill Gates himself. The... It, it, it's chill. <laughs> it is a dollar for a month, and then it's a subscription-based service. So I just got the dollar version. Do you still want a mic stand or your headset better? Uh, headset's not very good at all. That's uh, a, so I would I would still want the mic stand probably. I'm gonna grab the suplex. Look at those sacks. Why, you see something in Best Buy? I just dodged that damage with the uh, suplex, very nice. Um, oh I actually broke the gold heart. The uh... I keep getting ads for Blue Mike by Logitech, but I keep. Doesn't look up to that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not in like a rush, but. I didn't do much investigating. What's good though? Yeah, no, I, I'm not in a huge rush. It's just like, uh. It's like, it's like you know, I'm, wait I'm waiting for a lot of things, like, oh man, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna get a mic until. Uh, I get a bunch of money. It's like it's like on my order of like purchase list. It's like uh, I don't plan on getting a mic for a really long time, but then uh, they're not too expensive, so that's where it kind of raises the priority a little bit. And I already got the webcam, like 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 a, like an actual webcam. I was like, oh, I'm never gonna buy that. It's gonna be way too much money. And then. Uh, it's like, what was it, thirty dollars? What's on the tier list? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not gonna go through my entire Amazon wish list. I'm not an e-girl, but if you want me to be, that can change. The uh, I mean, just stuff. I don't know. I was saving up for this heart. Do I buy the pills? I feel like I don't want to buy the. Oh no! And then with the limited inventory space, no, I don't. That's for sure. Temp flakes. Yeah, I had. I don't want to pick up a few temp flakes, but uh, I haven't gotten around to it. This, this, I, I'm always hesitant for the two first. Mm -hmm. But like, where else is this secret room? It's not anywhere over here. It's a one for, I think. I think it's the rare single hallway secret room. There it is. Thank you. 
Well, I'm so glad I found that secret room. SMH. Now this would be the super secret room. Ah! Okay, that leaves like one candidate, which I might as well explore. Ooh, is it one candidate or is it three candidates? Got him. Went through five bombs, came out, minus one luck, and back where I started. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, I was gonna say, hopefully it's this guy. This guy's easy. Especially when I grab his stuff. Oh, look at that! Oh, yeah, dude, give me the rock. Let's see what the rock is cooking. Plus three damage. With the mascara, we get like a double bonus, I believe. I believe it's a multiplier. Yeah, no, so Eeyore, the plan is, uh, as far as AoE goes, because it's only a dollar, and there's actually a few games on the Game Pass that are like, allegedly worth checking out. Um, it's like, if it sucks, I just don't buy it, you know. If, it, if it's good, then I actually buy it, but I, I've only invested a dollar so far. Sack boy. Look at that. I will now use my HP regeneration. I will leave the game on for 14 hours. I go finish work now, okay. I leave the game on for 14 hours, use my HP regeneration to uh, farm this money machine. That's what I would do if, uh, you know, you held a gun to my head and said, win this Isaac run or you die. But ain't nobody got time for that, or, or should I say, that's what I would do if I wasn't on stream. You know, I'd be grinding that. Ah! Money machine. I'm doing tainted Edom Delirium runs. I'd be dead as hell. I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound like the uh, choice for someone trying to still live. Ouija! Some of these like singular tier effects, it's like, you know, maybe if I was playing Vanilla Isaac, I'd be like, oh baby, piercing tears. But nowadays it's like, what, you, you're just gonna give me one effect and not like seven? Like, there's so many things that give spectral tears plus flight, or spectral tears plus, probably just flight. I do find it weird that there was a, definitely a room on the previous floor that had, oh look at that, golden bomb, golden keys. Let's just go crazy. I got a question for any eggheads in the chat. Why, why does NL do this? No, he does, I can't even do it. Well, why does he push the bomb? Why doesn't he just place the bomb and walk away? I never understood that. It's good practice? Like, it, it's good practice or it's a good practice? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> uh, okay. Hold on. These all kind of suck. But, I mean, suplex is pretty good, but I don't know. I, I, 
It's, it's like a weird item. I, I, I don't like like using it, even despite how like strong it is. I'd almost rather use a boomerang. Well, you don't want to blow yourself up. I mean, I just think, like, what's the risk there? I'm just placing the bomb in front of the wall. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm feeling crazy today. That's two flies per heart. That's actually not bad. Six flies per room. Alright, that's who we got. Probably the. Nah, this guy. Yeah, not, not, not a hard boss. Just like. When, when, when it gets to the point where he's like shooting his little spike through, like right here. Trying to spike me with his little tail. We gonna move on. Oh my god. Just like something I don't want to participate in. We're gonna grab all the HP ups we can get so that way we can fill those slots later. We almost got locked in. The game the game knew though to put the uh the walls up. You chose poorly. I can take damage and now I have 0.25 speed. <laughs> We're not much faster. We got the, uh, what's slowing us down? The rock. I get 12 flies for clearing this room because it's a double room. No, I don't. I didn't think so. Mr. Sack, where's my sack at? I guess I'll fight Wrath. No reason not to. Is there a reason to? Oh, there is a reason to. He drops actual items. Uh, this is damage, right? Is that like the fake damage? I mean, there was a point where um, I remember your flies, your blue flies would push your bombs. It was like impossible to use them. But I think that was assumed just vanilla Isaac. I don't know if it ever got patched out pre-rebirth. You know, I can just use my bombs on this. Oh, just take no damage from my bomb. That's that's a cool. Is that the choice? Well, obviously, I'm not gonna leave that behind. I'll swap out the uh, tuna. But. I already forgot what the alternative was. When I got a bone heart. Which just got auto filled with a rotten heart. Not not desired in any way, shape or form. So 
so we are pretty strong. Oh, I forgot I got this. Bop, bop, bop. I, I am, the lights in my house have burnt out. And I'm not super interested in fixing them. So I'm in like the dark abyss uh, pretty much at all times. Oh! Money equal power, there we go. Ruffy. Like, n n neither of these are very good. But, like, one that's kind of free. Uh, why is this explosive fly following me? Is that supposed to happen? So far, not a single good pill. Health down would be pretty bad in a lot of cases, but I've been grabbing a lot of health ups. And we're not taking devil deals. But well, we could, but... Look, there's a famine, mysterious paper. I don't know what the locust does, but I know it's better than the mysterious paper. Because my bone around. <laughs> what the hell is going on with my flies? It is really weird.
just gonna buy that. I'm not gonna buy the. Well, I probably should actually. It's weird buying value items, but with money equals power, I think it pays for itself eventually. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. I lose damage? What does this do? Tears up plus you feel empty. Why did I lose damage? Oh, because I spent money. Okay. Or 0.63. Okay. Let's... Let's stick to the fly, man. I mean, Humbling Bundle will be a temporary get. With the idea that, uh, between our sack boy... I got my sack. Oh. I kept changing my clothes, I don't know if that has to do with it. I got my new my new glasses. The uh I should save some bombs. Oh, there we go. Great room. Uh, yeah, because we are going for the alt path here. The alternative route. Yeah, like, like I, I just don't see how that's so controversial. Do you, do you have to constantly remind myself that I am wearing the uh, suplex? Ooh, here we go. Hold on. Genesis? We're gonna hold this. And then we're gonna pop it when we need to. Oh. Maybe get a uh, fat. I mean, we don't have bad items, but like we could get something wacky, you know. And we also have a couple of like we got we got sack boy and are we gonna lose all our health if we do that? Uh, I, w I wonder how that works. Mug and mushroom. Only one bomb. Though. Oh, but look at this. Seven damage? Well, fuck that. I'm not rerolling anything, I'm keeping this. Why, why is this item room just three items, by the way? Oh, it was two items. Cool. We got our five bombs. I got my sack back as well. Yeah, no, we're, we're not using Genesis anymore. That is a no-go. Birthright, exactly what we needed. Four, oh, that, that's OP, dude. Four item slots. I, that actually is like super... It, it's night and, I thought it was gonna be two item slots. That, that, that is actually night and day. And it doesn't even take up an item slot by itself. So well, so it's like actually four, not just the three <laughs> that it would have been. Okay, someone tell me this: was this enemy originally 
No, oh, there's there's some enemy that they always pair alongside a uh, bomb dispenser. I didn't know this was the boss room. A bomb dispenser, and something tells me that in the base version of this area, like the version that was just like a mod or whatever, something tells me that they were immune to tears and could only be blown up. Um, tears up plus a couple of hearts versus. Shot speed up? Honestly. Uh, they're both replaceable, so we're gonna take that because the slow tears is too much for me. Oh, we have Curse of the Maze. I didn't realize we had Curse of the Maze. I was like, I did not know I was going into a boss room, but so be it. I guess silly, me, silly old me wasn't really just paying attention to the map, which I was. Isaac's trying to gaslight me. Oh my god, this room, dude. No, what the fuck? Yo, my... I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I'm gonna exit this area and I'll have my full inventory back. But I really don't like the look at the top left of the screen after the game took away my birthright. I don't know, look at the, look at the right side though, not the top left. We should be fine. All my stuff's still there. No, this isn't the super shortcut route. Oh, this is even worse. The get a bomb across the map route. Bonus content right down here. Where's the shop? Is there not? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, no, where's the, what was on the shop on this floor? Did I really not buy anything? Oh, I bought Birthright, that's right. That bomb was zooming in on me. What did I take the 8 ball over? I thought the 8 ball was tears up, but it just shot speed up again. Eight ball would have been
Noted. Oh, they followed the track. It's been a while. Damn, that was a lot of damage too. Am I just like... Fucked because my tier speed is too low? No, we're getting there, we're getting there. I believe we started at 2. Lucky pennies. Are losing a lot of damage to our lack of uh, funds here. What the fuck is this room, dude? Uh, I mean, I guess it's just supposed to be like go of the fire thing, but that was a little bit fucked. Okay, now this is the same room, but it's slightly like, bigger. And without the kill button. I shouldn't have taken that. I do plan on taking damage. Let's get rid of one of the shot speed ups. So let's screw the hourglass. Not hourglass, the uh, eight ball. Oofus. Thank you. You have solved the puzzle. Here is your full heart. There we go, we got our wealth of health there. No complaints. Oh, another lucky penny, look at that. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Wah!
Look at all that money. Do we have an item that's causing more things to spawn? Okay, well we're gonna grab this because it'll finish our set. Oh, and then that's all we got, okay. Are you a wizard? Huge fan. Didn't mean to grab that heart. Well, like I uh, eventually I wanted to, but I forgot that I was going for uh, the curse room here. Let's check this out. All this money. Candle. These both suck. But one that's probably better than shot speed. I think we're about to retire sack boy, but let me spawn the items here. We'll retire sack boy after this room and we're like just full. Huge payout here. Look at that. Okay. I do like the sword. I don't know if people. I don't know if many people like the sword, but it's so strong. I thought this one through too hard. Perhaps I was not supposed to take that much damage. One could argue. I've got the wavy mushroom. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. I didn't think that'd be a possible room. I've already checked that wall. I did check that one. Head on down. Oh. Oh. My peener just fell off.
I don't, is that what that's supposed to be? Look at that. Reed pays out. Instantly full healed. I unmuted the game on purpose. There we go. Actually, I never muted the game. I forgot to change my hockey settings. Full health. It's in the bag. Piggy bank. Battery. Health up. Don't want to do too much because we are losing money by doing that. Or we're losing damage by doing that. But I don't need every decimal point of damage. So we'll do it a little bit just to juice for later runs. Oh, there's gotta be something out here. There we go. I think we're done humbling. Plus 0.99. That. I almost grabbed the wrong one there, but good thing we didn't. I had a moment of thought there where I was like, do I just go do Delirium? But I already did Delirium on this boss. Or on this uh, character. Because I do have the key, I could have just gone to the Dark Room. Oh, not Delirium, uh, Mega Satan. What the fuck? But then like... The same, same, same note applies. I'm not gonna do it because I have... Uh, how are you supposed to, what the fuck are you supposed to do here? You would pull that down, go through there, bait it out. I think it's this. Bait that out. Yeah, and then go through. Free 1.84 damage. I did zoom my camera out, I'm pretty sure, but I'm still not allowed to move very far without it 
breaking the uh What the fuck? None none of those explosions made any sense. Shot speed down. By neither, I mean neither. Neither the pedestal items. Holy shit! I'm drowsy. Unironically good at this stage of the game. I can pop that on the uh, final boss. do that. I assume euthanasia is the reason I was able to do that, but uh, I didn't realize even that could do that. Keys are power, dude. That's the power up I need. I always have like a million keys. I feel like this boss should have stayed in the drafts. It's a little, a little too creative, not actually. Not actually like challenging or fun or. Stinky nutsack boss, yeah. <laughs> Guess we take the bombs. Um, uh, I should be fine. I, I, I hate that I can see forever pill and I'm like, I should go find a secret room, but also it's like, if I had the R key maybe, not if I'm one floor away from finishing the run. So we, the secret room item pool is so good in repentance. Well, yeah, but to just explore or whatever. I mean, I mean like, you know, I joked about the R key. You know, where I would get the R key is the secret room. So maybe I should uh, respect it a little bit more, but, uh, Your man looks so derpy. <laughs> Bitch, I'll kill you. So, 
Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Uh, obviously I haven't been streaming much. Thanks to the content drought, as they're called. AKA no good games have come out in a long ass time. Uh, and it's not even like, there are games coming out, but like nothing I'm like super interested in. But also I've been like, you know, in, in like so many meetings that games just don't want to work anymore. <laughs> I, I forget if I already mentioned work or not. Because uh, what I was trying to say is that I, I, I've been working uh, to the point where like, I, you, I would hope that like after working a long day, I'd be like, oh man, can't wait to go blow off some steam with some uh, Stardew Valley or Binding of Isaac or something. But then it's just like, I, I just don't get in the mood to play anything and I'm just like trapped. The, uh... So it's been hard to find a game, but recently, as in yesterday, AOE 4 came out and then it was $60 and I'm like, okay, no, I'm not gonna play that. But that, oh, look at that, dude. Oh my god. Um, but then I found out you can get it for a dollar. Hashtag uh, Microsoft. And so I was just like, I'll check it out. But, um, Poggy. Yeah, it, it's, hopefully it's a little bit Poggy. I mean, it's good that I get to try it out, but also it's like, AoE. Two is like it, it. It is like the uh, amount of like intensity that you have to commit to when you're playing AOE two. They don't wall low anymore. I know. They're, well, there's a mod to at least an AOE two to let them wall low, which I have installed, despite never being, you know, 80 years old. And having heard well alone in its original setting. Um, but the, uh, what, what do you call it? Oh yeah, it's so high intensity because every, every micro, every microsecond that you spend not like microing your units, you're actively losing the game. Like your, it, it, like your APM and your skill cap are like, like, like you, you, it's just like a APM race of how fast you can do stuff with your opponent and like if you're just like not playing as fast as they are you, you probably lose and so so it's an exhausting game and a very frustrating one and that's why I don't actually play it very often despite Eeyore's cries please Steven please let's play a Wii but um I don't know, AoE 4 supposedly has less like unit micro, like your guys just kind of move as an army a little bit, but then also like, you still can micro them, I forgot that was the best. So I don't know, that's why we're checking it out. Shout out to the drowsy pill. if I took no damage instead of taking like all the damage. Um, but on top of that, uh, I did notice that if I just streamed a couple more times I would be able to hit affiliate status, which honestly doesn't mean much considering that the only reason I can do that is because I, I have Patrick watch me on like four different accounts, but uh, I don't know. It is what it is. You you at least get bonuses. Like you get to open up the uh, the lottery or the casino, as they call it, which could be fun. You need to be affiliate for the casino. Don't admit that. If if somebody was here to uh, witness me saying that, then. It would count as a view, and then it would be irrelevant. 
So either way, it's fine. Um, we're done with Isaac. Oh, I should. There's a few things I can do. Oh, but anyways, um, as long as I was like, because it's a game subscription service. God damn it. Um, so I got not just AOE 4, which we're going to play right now, but I also got Psychonauts 2, a game I've been wanting to play. And I was like, $60 for a single player adventure game? What am I freaking crazy? So we got Psychonauts 2 finally. Um, we got Back for Blood. $60 for a four-player co-op game? What are you, crazy? We got that... F and these are all for a month, you know? At, at the end of the month, we're, like, probably, you know, backing out. Um, and a few other ones, you know, a few other games I saw that I'm just like, yeah, it could be okay. But, uh... Waiting for the program to respond. Great first impression uh, for AoE... There we go. It actually did start, which is surprising to me, considering the first thing it said was waiting for the program to respond. Um, usually my game transitions come with a five minute break. Uh, it's still true. I'll be right back.
Damn, I came back right on time. I, uh, I, I'm on the YouTube playlist. If I played uh, the music for like 10 more seconds, we would have been copyright striked. Subtitles, movie only. UI scale, why they think I'm a freaking 80 year old man? Uh, UI narration. Read incoming chat messages. Maybe. Maybe. Could be fun, you know? John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden. Oh, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. Yo, yo, check out this brightness calibration. Ah! As the cactus. <laughs> Is that a thing we'd say? Why would why would anyone say that? The Age of Empires 4 logo should be very barely visible. What the fuck? It doesn't even go that dark. I I don't. On the right side? Does it mean on the right? You should be able to distinguish between all the individual segments. It's right there. You know, honestly, I'd probably have a lot more fun playing the campaign. He was making fun of the campaign yesterday. He's like, oh my god, dude. Driven from their homes by yeah, invaders, like I'm going to buy AoE 4 because it has 80 missions. It's like, of starting again. playing the campaign kind of removes all that, like my major, like, fright about having to have 16,000 APM. This is perfect, because I was going to say I need like a uh, the first practice round. Was locating a reliable the... food source. The oh, what the fuck? Was gathering from Yo, what is this acceleration, my guy? Smart health bars when they take taking damage. Thank you. Construction progress bars always on. Yes, please. Show great show game duration timer. Yeah. Pin player information maybe I'll find out. Graphics. Look at those graphics, dude. Look at that gameplay. Movie quality. 1080p. Will only play if downloaded from the store as a free content pack. I, I didn't even download it, so it's fine. Unit frame rate. I mean, that's how fast my monitor goes. There's no point in going any faster. Where Where's the controls? Is that where it's going to be? Camera. Okay, there we go. Enable can Enable pan acceleration. No. Save. And then let's like slow down like a little bit. Okay. Yaro. Yaro. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna move myself to the. To the right a little bit, I feel like is appropriate. Is this man spitting bars? Yes. Yes, I am. Uncover that UI element. I actually feel like it's going to be more, so maybe I should go above it. It's like a classic setup. There is a lot more. Yeah, look at that. I'll go above it. I've gathered 50 food. With a healthy HQQQQ. Food, 
The Does that still work? Start to grow. People, people were complaining so, about the hotkeys not being like super editable. But my understanding is it's fine because I use the default uh, grid based hotkeys to begin with. What I don't, what I'm afraid of is that the grid hotkeys are going to be in different locations on the grid. And so now like my muscle memory of HQQQ still works, but who knows what it doesn't work for. Also, why does it look like the game's being played in slow motion? Is that just how fast villagers go? Is that a stump? I'm supposed to see that little stump and know I've already chopped a tree. Oh my god. Maybe that's why the tree stays there. Yaro! Bruce 5 town center. Okay. The new workforce could now turn to the growing village's needs. First, they would build a mill near their food source. So villagers could drop off gathered berries more easily. AOE2DE, small trees package, AOE4, <laughs> big tree package one. I think, are, are there mods available already? Uh, I don't think there are actually, but I think they said they're going to add mining support soon. Next, the growing but. village would need wood to build with. Gather 50 additional wood. Bro, we've already done that, my guy. We've got so much wood. Get our mill. The growing community now had a steady supply of lumber. To make wood collection easier, villagers could erect a lumber camp near the forest. You have attack commands on the villagers. I don't know if that's always been there. Yeah, it hasn't. Because you could, um... Your villagers would always just have the building options. Now you press Q to switch the building options. Which is technically still true, but they're always on screen, which is kind of convenient. Because you would press Q to do a. Thanks to the camp, villagers no longer needed to travel as far. You know, your Q command was to bring up the housing, the, the building menu. Okay, so Q Q. Q Q is still build a house. You have idle villagers. Who's idle? Oh. Why would they do their uh, tool tips? House not available, I'll quickly build one. Oh, it wants me to build three houses. Very well. QQ? QQ? Shift key back to the trees. We're already microing. Now, I don't think you can block with houses, if I understand correctly. Yeah. Additional housing in place, Houses don't take up a full tile anymore. Could join the workforce. But a populous village would soon exhaust the natural food source. Which is actually a huge gameplay change. The community needed dedicated farms. But hopefully one that uh Why are there certain like Lots of land already. Q A. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know if that's the same hotkey because I've never built a farm in my life. Explore the wilderness. My villagers. Further growth required knowing the countryside and finding more resources. For that, communities employed scouts. This is scout. Blimbos make me cry. Able to move quickly and see great distances, scouts were key to discovering new resources. The we most got a gold vein, my for a scout to boys. Was a ready source of gold. Okay, gold vein. Already done. I'm assuming they put the gold vein extra out just for the tutorial. But to prevent having to haul all large distances, expanding communities would establish a mining camp near the source of gold. What the hell is this? Oh, does this show you where gold is emanating from? 
That's actually pretty cool. Or am I mistaken? I think I'm mistaken. A well placed camp ensured efficient gold mining. I have to be wrong, right? Out of bounds. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't know why they do this weird, like, golden border on the map. With a good supply of gold, the village was becoming a large town. Fancy feudal age. So this is different, I know already. In order to advance the, the feudal age, growth would be the construction of a large landmark. You build a building. Abbey of Kings heals all nearby units of combat. Oh, okay. Yo, when am I gonna get my feitoria for the Portuguese? It's not showing my shift queue flags. Oh, we've scouted an enemy. Am I shift queuing? I am. It doesn't show the little flags. With the landmark in place, the once sleepy village announced itself as a thriving feudal township. The townsfolk had been driven from their homes before, however. So, this notably, you don't have to stop producing themselves. villagers to age up. Because you age up using... The Dude, this building sucks. Would be constructing a barracks Heals two near... Heals nearby units to every 1.5 seconds. Who cares? This little tiny circle? Are you joking me? Is there an auto scout option? I don't think there is. I feel there isn't gonna be. Alright, what's the new build a barracks? Okay. QS. That's already a new hockey. Once it had a barracks, the town could establish a standing force of soldiers. Simple infantrymen armed with spears were a common choice for these militias. Produce 10 spearmen. 10. Each of Waka. Eat your work, The town now had a militia and could look to reclaim the lands lost to invasion. The invaders had blocked the road north with a stout palisade. Although spears were of little use against these walls, the militia could burn down the obstacle with torches. The lore. Work. 
With the road open, the militia could now reclaim their lands in the north. I mean, so far it's... First, the spearmen had to deal with a lone sentry. You know, it's very similar. Oh my god. Come on now. <laughs> Can I not click on it? Did I just click near it? Left click attack move. Oh wait. He's trying to teach me, okay. Attack move. Left click attack move. Yeah, don't use your hockeys. Advancing aggressively, the militia eliminated the enemy sentry. The invaders had a small cavalry camp guarding the road, but the militia was ready to attack. I'm assuming they're gonna have a point where I'm not strong enough. Come here. Maybe not. Spears were highly effective against cavalry, allowing the militia to win the day. All that remained was to destroy the invaders' stables. So you can make scouts from the town center. Which is interesting, because now I guess the scout rush could happen faster. But other enemy positions awaited further up the road. Hostile archers defended the Unless they like are too weak. It says very weak in combat. I don't know if they're weaker than regular scouts. The township needed cavalry of its own to deal with this, and so would need to build stables. To deploy that cavalry quickly, the town needed to build their stables near the front lines. Dude, we can't prepare. Look at that. Fortunately, friendly villagers came out of hiding and joined the effort. Friendly villagers came out of hiding. Yeah, right, dude. Not gonna happen. Oh, this is so With weird. stables in place, the town could field horsemen of its own. I was reading some of the reviews for this game and like a lot of them were like, you know, hey, you made the uh, Chinese too weak. This is an insult to our nation. And it's like, oh my God. And so it, it's hard to tell if this game's actually bad or if a lot of the reviews are just like weird or like, uh, what do you call it? You know, oh, it's not AOE 2, so I hate it. That, that could be the case for a lot of the reviews. Where are these houses? The town now had a rapid light cavalry, 
Skilled at harassing. I mean, at, at first glance, it doesn't look that, you know. It doesn't look much better, but I'm sure there's some, uh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I can't say it's gonna be better than AoE 2, but also, if AoE 2 was so good, I'd be playing it right now. Kira wants me to. Um, oh, so these are light melee cavalry, different than scouts. Interesting. My favorite civ isn't in the game, the Portuguese, which is like fine because. Uh, the, my favorite, my favorite thing about the Portuguese was they had a unique building that only they could build. Have you seen you, you young llama moan Fortnite rage? I, I don't doubt that I've seen it, but I've definitely don't the recognize the name. And moved on to destroying the um, range itself. But yeah, no. So now every every Civ has unique buildings. So it's not as, you know, it's not like the Portuguese are the any cooler than the other civs. But, a I don't know, maybe I can find a cool unique building that I enjoy. Fortified with palisades and defended by spearmen. There's a few cool things going on. It's a young llama Fortnite rage. To deal with this target, the town would need longbowmen. First, they needed to build archers Two years ago. in the area regained from the invaders. Once more, friendly villagers arrive to help. I'm gonna build these villages. Build these archery ranges. Um, okay, so I know my hackies. Trust yourself, Steven. Even though the stream's not on stre screen. You, then you. We're good? I think we did it? Hide my toolbar. It's operating at one frame per second. I'm covering up a little bit of it, I think. Oh shit. With several archery my... ranges in place, the oh, town fuck. could add longbowmen to its forces. I just broke my fucking. Okay. Control shift page down. Boom, we're back. Oh, the fucking USB disconnect sounds. Um. Okay, I just noticed also the game is too too big. Transform fit the screen. Just barely, apparently. Which makes sense. I've just gone from like Isaac to this game, and Isaac's like just a little bit too small to f not fit the screen. Longboy man. Produce 20 longbow men. Um, I'm gonna build another archery range. Do villagers burn? I think I saw my villagers burning earlier. Why would they burn and not like harvest? Damn, they just burn. Can't take over an enemy farm. Uh, you can't take over an enemy farm. This game gets a zero out of five. So long as they took the proper position. On the cliff top? Good lord. Oh, if, if that's how you can control your army, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. You can tab, you can tab your different units. That's pretty nice. So I don't have to have like 50 different control groups. I can just have my whole army selected. Or... 
And like if I wanted to do two parties, I'm sure I could do like control two. Hmm. Well, how do I get back to my full army if I... I'm sure there's a select all our military units hotkey. I think I'll find it now. Um, controls. Cycle through idle military. I don't want idle military. I just want like all military. Select all units on screen. Control A. Select all military units. Control Shift C. Okay. Yeah, I think the fact that I use the grid is fine. People are, were complaining a lot about the hotkeys, but I'm like gridding it up. And like... It's not a problem for me. I use the grid in the other one. There's no way these longbowmen actually shoot down. Oh my god. I, I, I know it was designed for this express purpose. Made it through Hush exclusively on the back of Sci-Fly. Sci-Fly is... The last of the invaders so fell to the resurgent homegrown population. You know, it, it's, it's, it's funny because... Uh, Edmund McMullen said he's going to nerf Sci-Fly, but also... Uh, he hasn't passed the game in like... A year. Here so, too, the erection of a great landmark would be the signpost of this growth. Act as a keep with all the behavior technology and bonuses. Requires a lot of food. Yeah, I don't know. I mean. I can't like be like, yo. Like make birth rate do something half the characters? Yeah, that'd be nice. I I, I guess I don't know how many characters um campaign ending. Where a few lowly refugees had founded a small village. Now rose a mighty city. A mighty city. This this building's From in the middle of nowhere. Did they like an empire. Th this campaign done? Yeah, okay. That, that tutorial, uh, a little bit too long. You know, I get it. I, I just want to know the differences between AOE 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. More specifically, 2 and 4. But, um... Kind of dragged down a bit. Learn Avage Empire is 5. 4. Complete 5 Art of... Did somebody say Sun Tzu's Art of War? Early economy, late economy, basic combat. We, like we didn't we do all this literally in the tutorial. Uh, early siege, late siege. Solo battle versus AI. AI teammates versus AI. AI uh, a passage to conquest. Uh, what, what's wrong with Tan Laz? By the way, I didn't know he was broken. A deep bay separates the Mongols from the lands they seek to conquer. The water may prove an obstacle or a gateway to victory. A deep bay separates... What does that mean? It's like a generated campaign. Leave game. Or, like, like, I'm assuming these are the game modes, but why is this, like, so specific? Have you played as him? I have not. I've, I have I think I'm familiar with the mechanic, though, where you have two halves of him, and then you have the Q item that lets you switch halves, but otherwise you switch every room. If it's super buggy, I guess I could understand why, but, like, I, I don't know if it's that. Horribly underpowered and tedious. Yeah. Yeah, and Lazarus, I know, has really bad stats. At least, vanilla Lazarus. 39 ping with 4 bars. Gaben, hello? How is four bar, uh, 39 ping? Uh, not fi 5 bars? Use the mountain fastness that surrounds you to survive 
an aggressive Mongol invasion, advance into the later ages and turn the tides. Again, like what is this? All out religious warfare as England and the Holy Roman Empire struggle to prove the righteousness of their cause. Four civilizations must fight their way through cho choke points, take over their enemies. Okay, now we're, we're we're probably just gonna do a vanilla game against AI to get used to things. Um, single player, Back. multiplayer, coming soon, ranked. Love to see it. This is all I wanted, man. If we have like a feature in our app that's coming soon, and I was like, let's just have a coming soon little thing, and then it's like, no, nah, we got to do all this fancy stuff for a thing that's not even in the app yet. Just give me a little coming soon banner. Um, like we're reworking like the whole UI just to account for this. That's we're not gonna talk about that anymore. I've said too much, but but still. Um, besides that specific issue isn't that big. The community, a letter to the age community. Watch the boys, customer support. Tech trees, this is what I'm looking for, okay. English. I, I don't know why I clicked on the boat is the first thing. That's like the least interesting thing. I'm worried. I'm more worried about. Plus four HP. Oh, did this get buffed already? Look at that. It was so bad they buffed it between the tutorial and just now. I was going to say plus two HP every 1.5 seconds. There's no way that's good. Produce longbowmen at 100% speed from this landmark. Contains the longbowmen upgrade. Oh no. Well, maybe they're not as OP. An activated ability that increases. Oh my gosh, activated abilities? We're in the future. The future is now. Um, oh, I can read this now. I was having such a hard time like f figuring out like why there's so many blank columns. Because this is the Dark Age column. You get all this. Once you're in Feudal Age, you'll get this. So we gain the King's Palace. Access the town center with all behaviors, technologies, units, and bonuses. Interesting. So uh, you so it's the age one you get the worst building in existence versus the one that builds longbowmen. H two you get an extra town center versus an extra castle. This is to the, this is for the English, by the way. Age three. You get hit Berkshire Palace. Next is the keep with all behaviors. Berkshire Palace has a greater range, so you get a super castle. Town center versus ca is keep different. No, keeps are castles. Oh no. Um. And then Wingard Palace. Wingard Army. Wingard Palace. I was right both times because they produce the Wingard Army from the mar landmark. Army includes one of each. And Trebuchet. Hey, that's really cool. And then University lets you research chemistry. Cathedral of St. Thomas is the wonder. Build and defend a wonder to secure victory. Exactly. All right, this is cool. Cool little menu. So let's see what else there is. Chinese, the Imperial Imperial Academy. Nearby buildings generate plus 100 tax gold. Increase the amount of gold carried by officials by that much. Fires a long range hand cannon. Offers vision to the forest. Unique building village. Is 
This is getting a little bit too advanced for me. I know. I so I know the deal with the Chinese is their bonus is they can build both. So when you're playing like English, you choose either the Council Hall to level up or the Abbey of Kings. A.K. You choose the Council Hall to level up, and then with the Chinese, you can actually get both. You can build both of them, and then you get a bonus for building both of them. Still, it's too much. Great Wall Gatehouse. Must be built over stone walls. Increases the health of stone walls and gates by 100%. Nearby troops on walls deals plus 50% damage. All buildings can create previously achieved dynasty units. Sure. Building near this landmark produce dynasty units at a cheaper cost. There was a criticism of this game that um, every Civ uh, has a different mask, but in the end they all play the same or something. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to judge for ourselves. But... That's cool. The guild hall. Like a little bank. X as a keep. Provides immediate access to produce royal artillery. The Notre Dame. Yo, know, Notre Dame's not in France. It's in uh, Indiana. They ain't got their history straight. Stupid. Stupid people. He acts like a blacksmith. I was going to say, I don't know if Blacksmith are in the game. They are. Inspire his units in a large radius, so as long as this prelate is garrisoned. What does inspiration do? Extract additional gold from relics. And inspire units produced from the town center. What does inspiration do? Hello? The prelate. Support unit with no combat capability. Automatically inspires villagers to greatly improve their gather rate. Can pick up relics. Convert enemy units. Convert enemy units. The level 1 unit can convert? What the fuck? And capture sacred sites. Oh, starting in age 3. I was gonna say, dude, can you just like literally build a prelate and then send it in? Minute one, I have taken over your villager. Uh, wow, 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 wow. Palace. Okay. So that's going on. I already know a lot about the Mongols because I was watching uh, a big video about them. They can pack up their buildings and move around. Interesting. The Rus. The Kremlin. Golden Gate allows exchange of resources at a favorable rate. Generates an additional exchange every minute. Generates gold like a hunting cabin in the value with the value increased by 200%. So so these are the two that seemed interesting to me. The the Delhi Sultanate 
in the Abbasid dynasty. So the oh, I don't remember why though. So what's the Delhi Sultanate doing? You can build a mosque immediately, which lets you produce scholars. Can be garrisoned in a mosque or madrasa to research technology more quickly. Oh, that's right. They're like the research faction. Can pick up relics, convert units, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, you don't get textiles till level two. That's interesting. And then Tower of Victory. Military range units who move near this landmark permanently gain 15 attack speed. That's interesting. Dome of Faith. Produce scholars at reduced cost from this landmark. They don't cost very much to begin with, do they? Oh, they do 150 gold. Okay. Melee and ranged infantry. So just infantry. Tainted Eden got Nod Leaf in the void. And then you won? I don't give a fuck, I'm doing it. And now you're winning, okay. Oh, that's risky though, I... Cause you have to make it to Delirium. Which isn't hard without taking damage, but also not a freebie, you know. Infantry units can build stone walls, gates, and towers. Ooh. Reduces cost of stone building. Infantry units can build stone walls, gates, and towers. Reduces stone cost of buildings. I just not leave those from two. <laughs> two orbitals, right. Grants no immediate bonus other than advancing to the next age, but contains many unique economic and religious technologies. Houses and town centers get more population. Snooze. Mosque restore plus one health. Snooze. Increases the sight range of outposts. Bro, am I going to fall asleep here? Increases carrying capacity by villagers by five. Probably a snooze. Increases the melee damage of men and armies and knights by three. She. I need it. Compound the defender. It's a mega now. Oh wait, reload time. Okay, I thought it said like load time. I was like mega nails don't load. Increases the health of siege units by twenty percent of their armor by three. Sure, whatever. Is there a oh, unique? Okay, here we go. Slow bearing defenses increases the fire armor of walls by five. Keeps act like town centers, including unit production, population capacity, and technology. Ooh, that's interesting. Constantly generates food based on total number of technologies researched. Yeah, but when does it pay for itself? 2,400 food to build that thing? What the hell? Let me get a automatically produces tower war elephants. Now that's what I'm talking about. Garrison up to four scholars on the airmark to increase production speed. Powerful range cavalry that can fire while moving. The madrasa. Houses, advanced technology. This is a cavalry. Range cavalry elephant. Yeah, so I'm interested in the Delhi Sultanate. Then also the Abbasid Dynasty was a little bit interesting, but it's hard to say if it's gonna hold my interest 
because you don't you don't actually build buildings with them to level up. You just start with the, you start with your building, and then go from there. Which again is cool, but it depends on uh, what bonuses there are. It's the cost of all technologies. All technologies, eh? Reduce the cost of produced villagers by 50%. So you save 25 food. That's also really good. What the heck? Improve villagers gathering rate from farms. More resources. Camel, camel, camel. Oh yeah, they were all about camels too. Increases the gold income from traders, trade. Traders also return with a secondary resource. This resource was 25% the base gold value and is set at the market. Camel, camel. Okay. Well, enough, enough looking, let's get, let's play a game. Like, just like a single player game. Solo Bell versus AI. Do the Delhi Sultanate. Win condition destroy all enemy landmarks, or control all sacred sites, or build and defend a wonder. playing against the French. There's no menu music. You guys notice that? You guys notice this empty quietness that is filling the void? Or is it just me? Not filling the void, that's creating a void. Sorry. Oof. I think once we get in game, there'll be music, I would hope. Otherwise, I've got to kick in the... Uh, the tunes. Okay, sheep. Get on the sheep. I don't know what the start of the game is supposed to be like, but... Maybe it's not the same every game? Psych! Q, E. So you can't go in the building, yeah, so there's no more like doing stuff inside the town center. I'm at 9 out of 10 already? Uh oh. Build a house. Five extra capacity reset. We fucking lost. You don't show me the skinned sheep. What the fuck? Oh, look at all those deer. Can I solo you? Oh, he's got a. There's a sheep up here. So it has to be my scout. I, I actually thought that might have been the case. Based on gameplay I've seen. And that confirms it. I, can I see how much food my... Zero out of ten game. I can't even view my sheep's meat. Hello? Oh, we have... Dude, fuck uh, sheep, dude. I got fish right here. I didn't even think about that. So let's do Doc. 
Any Dax? W. Is Dax not tech one? Dax, there it is. Uh, we just obliterated two fish ponds by building the dock there. Thank you, Gaben. That's why we're doing practice round. Oh, look at that. It shows you how much food per minute you get. Dude, that's actually cool. Some of it has to be an estimate. Well, maybe it like, is like smaller because it doesn't count travel time. So let's do fishing boats. Build a landmark. What if I didn't and say I did? Mask, I need to build a mask. Oh, I need to start gathering gold right away if I wanted to build this mask and these uh, s scholars. Scholar. Oh, he's stored in there. Okay, I, I get it, I get it. Build, my guys, build. So, do I just research like, should I just be constantly researching? Does this slow down the rest of my researches? Or is it a Q? Global Q? Three and a half minutes. Scholars currently deployed to field normally. Click to assign new scholars directly. Make them available for research. Yeah. We lost because I wasn't producing villagers nonstop. Oh, they're attacking already.
So this will take 4 minutes and 12 seconds. Once I produce my next scout, it takes 3 minutes and 28 seconds. Okay. What's the point in having more? Is that a sacred site? Two minutes. Are you sure it's speed slow due to low number of gears? I'm at 3 out of 3, what do you mean? I guess when you tech up, maybe it increases by quite a bit. Do this <laughs> freaking diagram. Oh, let's increase our. Do we need feudal age for that? Is it feudal age? Let's do that. That. Gather rate. Gathering rate of fishing ships. Still only says, uh... It says 3 out of 3, how do I increase it? supposed to build more? Influence. The research rate of buildings within influence of a mosque is increased. Okay. For each scholar. In all. Oh, okay, okay. So, oh, they're like power cores, dude. Give me another one. I get it now. That's... Stone outcropping. That's stone. That's not a religious site. Fuck. Here I am. Why would this be a dedicated button? Instead of just like a uh That's really weird. Why would that be a dedicated button instead of just happening? Units healed by scholars gain attack speed. Movement speed of scholars by 50%. Increases the sight range of scholars by 100%. You know, I thought this would be like the save to rush uh, technologies. I think it's the opposite, dude. These technologies are so slow. Alright, well, I gotta be right back.
گوشته هنگام راه روی روی ما افکنم I mean, alright, I'm back. Let's see how crazy these uh, masks can get. I mean... They can just hold three, her. But like... Like, what if I just make a bunch? Oh no. Bro, I'm just trying to have some fun. Okay, it doesn't look like they're very smart. Yo, my fishing boat can attack? Yeah, get him. Get him. That, the implication of that's horrible, dude. Can fishing boats just like have an all-out war against each other? Or maybe maybe they attack non-fishing boats, because that, that could be the case. I've crowded my island. Why does it take so long to build a scholar? 45 seconds? It's like the longest 45 seconds of my life, I swear. Ba, ba, ba. You've heard of Sky Rush, I'm going for Fish Boat Rush. Yeah, my fucking hair. How does that happen? It's not even like. Uh oh. House of Learning. Well, uh, I will do the House of Learning just because I want to see what it does. The other one's a little bit more obvious, even though it's like the cooler one. I mean, I, I know I read which technologies, but just a good refresher. Good, like, in practice kind of deal. I've spent all my gold on Scholars. In there. Hey, there. So you got I got T toggle all of them. T. Otherwise they go outside. I mean is the balancing factor the fact that I've wasted like so many resources to accomplish nothing? That could be it. Once I get my house of learning, I'll be unstoppable, dude. Oh, yeah. 
Uh oh, someone's not right. Is that in range? I think that's in range. I thought my scholars would start taking over units. It's not gonna last. 22 seconds though, maybe. Convert. Monk must be holding a relic. I thought I thought that was the case, honestly. But then I thought there was a technology that removes that requirement. Where's that? That could be the I could be the wrong sieve, honestly. Mustak barracks farm. Keep any keepers? Oh no. Don't have the stone. Stone Luigi. Yo, he fucking. Oh my god, look at that swiftness, dude. They're fucking zooming. Is he converting an AoE? Is this the true AoE experience? Okay, drop the relic. Nice and gently now. Alright, my guy, pick up the relic. They're all on cooldown. Oh, is it the relic itself that's on cooldown? Yeah, the relic itself is probably on cooldown. Relics placed in a mosque provide income. I don't know if there's a standard feature anymore. I was pulling a relic. 53 seconds. It's gonna be a while. Tech trees. All technology can be used free. Research can be stopped and resumed, but it progresses at a much slower rate without the help of religious scholars. That's I didn't know you could stop and restart it. That's actually really cool. Cool. They very. Um, Orchards yield a higher amount of food. Cool. But cannot gather from boar. Much slower rate. Infantry able units able to construct defenses. Fishing ships with oh it's oh my god it's a Delhi Sultanate bonus dude. Fishing ships equipped with an archer. That's insane. Bro, I'm coming for your fucking fishing boats, dude. Hide your kid. Hide your wife. Change the game. Yeah, uh, good eye. Good eye, fellow gamer. Age of... This is a much more popular game, too.
Well, it just came out. Age of Empires. Four. IV. Okay. $19 Fortnite card. Who wants it? Um, the, this fishing ship's equipped with an archer. Now I know what you're thinking. There's no water on Black Forest. That's because we're only going to play Team Islands. Dude, that, that is a little bit insane. And, and I have a feeling... This, I'm, I'm going to be honest. The Civ looks like it sucks. Like, really bad. Like, being able to research stuff for free. Uh, stuff that didn't cost that much to research to begin with, you know? And then it goes at, like, a snail's pace. But... Fish rush, dude. I, I, I have a feeling they, like... Added that because the sieve was so bad. They're like, we gotta give him something good. Building constructed within the influence of the, a mosque benefit from faster research speed, based on how many scholars are garrisoned, right? Unique unit scholar, war elephant. Yo, where's my war elephant set, dude? Speaking of war elephant, uh, also. Is this not the right sieve? Where's my uh Was it not the Delhi Soul in it? Was it the Holy Roman Empire or something? Wh which sieve could uh convert units without a relic? Well, let me check Avacid first, because I like almost remember it being a thing that I read near the end of reading all the sieves. So, and so this is the bottom one: House of Wisdom. Oh, there it is. So you get tech level four, and then you can do it. So wait, that would be. Let's resume the game. Is Relic like? Okay, heal each other. I mean, obviously, like, it's not going to work in practice because they'll just kill your monk. But, like, is this, like, the ultimate kingpin, like... Dude, I'm getting, like, a whole religious preach by, like, uh... Just clicking these scholars constantly. Okay, let me try to convert this cluster of units. Five seconds. He's dead as fuck. Well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get in there. Oh my god. It actually does convert the whole cluster. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> it, it would never work. It would literally never work. Because they would just, like, kill him. But also, what if I have 24 monks healing the one monk slash scholar? 24 scholars healing the one scholar. You can't kill him. And there's, like, Enigma. You just, like... You don't need a blink there, because you can just, uh, chase him off the map. Okay, that is really cool. And it saved me from this casual campaign of having to, uh, literally lose against the AI. But... But... I assume a human player would be much better against that. Who knows, though?
That is actually so damn cool. But again, like, probably super impractical. So three minutes base time, let's garrison a few monks. Two minutes. Dude, these elephants better be fucking strong. That's like a long ass time. Dude, yo, he's taking over my building. He's killing my elephants. What do you do? You pop out with the relic. He's done for. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. At 960 health. <laughs> oh no. Where, where are they at? Down here? Get him, boys. Now I know why it takes two minutes to spawn an elephant, dude. This thing's a fucking tank. It has no upgrades even. I've neglected all my upgrades. <laughs> Just never stops attacking. <laughs> oh no. Get him boys. Wait, hold on, he's trying to kill my guys? Get the monks out, come on. What's the cooldown? 26 more seconds, hey, back in the house, get back in the house. They're hitting my elephant, time to run. And still attack while I'm running. Dude, every, every elephant's a mini boss. I get two elephants now and it's like... Again, it's probably super impractical because you only get one elephant every fucking two minutes. 90 seconds, close to 90 seconds, not too bad. But dude, here they come. I need to get some upgrades. Where's my villagers at? They're down here repairing the... Uh, I have literally zero stone. Not a problem. Oh, they're meleeing too. They have... Bro. They got a melee attack. 
Oh, hello. No. <laughs> no. Not the elephant. Oh no, I think I have zero villagers. Yes. Why can't they build one? Not accessible? Oh, I didn't repair it. All right, well, we fucking lost. But it, it was fun while it lasted. Because, uh... Enemy captured sacred site. Do these do anything? Okay, so this is by far the worst civilization. I think we can, I think we understand that. No, no doubts there. Uh, they are three star difficulty, so you might be like, well, Steven, what if you just don't understand that? No, 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 no. I understand raw strength when I see it, and these guys fucking. What kind of ships can you? Oh, I wonder if there's any unique ships. Um, delete building. Oh, you have to press and hold. Look at that. Um, we're gonna take a quick break here, and then probably. Uh, did we tell E to download? E or get the damn game? It's a dollar, just whatever, dude. And then uh, we'll play like a real game maybe later, or maybe another practice game, and probably never play again. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I I think I need to do another practice game because this Civ, I like understand it now a little bit better. And some of these bonuses are actually like really good, like f double production speed in the feudal age. Oh, why is there a cost? I thought these were supposed to be free. Maybe there's a cost to like literally just that one because it was so powerful. Yeah, a couple of them, I guess. Technologies are free except that one. Um, Sacred sites, yeah. Like, what's a sacred site? Like, this could be the game changer. If a sacred site uh, actually does anything, that could be like, like you know, how you're supposed to play the Civ. Get a scholar down, play it, play a sacred site, um, ba 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 ba, and then like go from there. But I'm gonna eat dinner real quick, so we're gonna we're gonna freeze the stream for. 20 minutes, half hour, I don't know. And then come back and uh, play a couple of games. But we're not gone. It's, I'm, not, I'm not done for the night. We'll be back.